What's going on Omni Buddies? Mitch here and you know what today was? Today was the first Saturday in May and what is that? Every year that is, it's every nerd's favorite holiday. It is free comic book day. Okay girls, where are we going? Comic book store. For what? Free comic, comic book day. Yeah, how many comic books do you get? Three. Yeah, are we excited? Yeah. What are we getting really right now? Steamers and coffee latte. Woo, coffee. For when we're waiting outside so I can stay warm. And that is a big one, so that's good. Yeah. All right, so I went into Free Comic Book Day with a plan. I had the my local comic shop, Gabby's Olympic Cards and Comics. Uh, if you don't know anything about them, make sure to check out the documentary. It's the trailer on my channel, uh, so you can go there, check it out. It is a like 22-minute documentary, just goes into everything about them. They are freaking awesome. Gabby is amazing. I think it's the fifth biggest by square foot uh, comic book store in the country or something close to that. The place is enormous, as you'll see in the B-roll of this video. But if you want to find out more about them, definitely hit up my documentary. Super proud of it. It's probably the coolest thing, in my opinion, that I've done on my channel and as a personal like passion project. So definitely check it out. Uh, but I went into this plan with the idea that, well, like I know every year, uh, Olympic Cards and Comics, my LCS, local comic shop, uh, gives away three free comics per person. So I figured, okay, I should probably go into this with a bit of a plan. But I got in there and I was overwhelmed by the amount of people and the excitement and the craziness. And I had all three of my kids with me, all three daughters and they were super excited and we were trying to find them books and then I was trying to find my books too and I knew the one that I absolutely had to grab was Fish Flies Free Comic Book Day by Jeff Lemire because he's one of my absolute favorite creators. So I grabbed that and then it was just mayhem and I just kind of had to grab three, com uh, two other comics and have some fun with it and there was a ton of books out there. They put a bunch of other comics up there to just kind of fill in. And I mean, they have thousands of people come through. They actually do it on Saturday and then do the second half of the stock on Sunday. And they do like flash sales and go nuts. It's so fun. My kids had a blast. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> uh, I ended up grabbing a couple of books. I'm not even sure some, one of them might be from last year's free comic book day because they kind of backfill some of the stock and get rid of old stuff and you know what it's all fun it's all good so you know what actually let's just kind of get into it what I got so I got obviously I talked about it Fish Flies by Jeff Lemire so very excited to read some more uh, Lemire and I know he was doing this through his Substack. I'm very excited for it to come to actual print so I can read it because I, I haven't been doing Substack so I don't really necessarily know uh, what's going on with it and then I'm not totally sure. I think this is the one. I know there was a Star Wars one or two last year too, but we got Star Wars High Adventure or High Republic Adventures. Definitely excited to check that out. And then, if you've watched my overviews for a while, uh, you know that I reviewed Gail Simone's Red Sonia, the complete collection. So I had to pick up a Red Sonia. There was another one there. I wasn't actually totally sure which one was uh, this year's and which one was last year's. But I went with this one uh, because you know what? Why the heck not? Anyways, so I did that. My kids got, <laughs> my youngest daughter picked three of the exact same comic, uh, the Spider-Man comic that was available, um, which is great because they just absolutely trash their comics, which kills me a little bit as a collector inside. But it's also, I, I love watching kids, um, anyone really just actually read and love their comics. Um, so my oldest daughter, nine, uh, who's nine, she, you know, she's pretty careful with things and then seven year olds a little, a little less, uh, but my four year old just like goes nuts. So I'm actually like, well, okay. If she likes that comic, getting all three Spider-Man, 
getting the same Spider-Man book three times. Probably not the worst thing ever. And then each of my other daughters each got one of the Spider-Man books too. So we ended up walking away with five of the Spider-Man <laughs> books, which is just ridiculous. But it's all about having fun. Who cares? We got some investigators and a Halloween book. I think it might have been from last year. Previous, it had a bunch of pumpkins. Looked kind of Halloween-y. And then uh, what was the other one that they got? I can't remember uh, what the third, what the other one was, but they had a ton of fun and it was so fun. There was tons of kids there, tons of people there. I ended up walking around quite a bit, taking some video and just chatting and, uh, just having fun and just looking at some books because they got tons of deals. So I actually only bought one book while I was there, which was a little disappointing. They actually did a flash sale a few hours later after I left on Omnibus and Absolutes, but so it was probably good I wasn't able to go back. But I did pick up, uh, I had picked up this a while ago. So if you followed my channel much, uh, The Forged, Eric Chapman is uh, Gabby's husband who owns my LCS. So this is like the first ongoing that I have now started uh, reading again, which The Forge is freaking awesome. They are magazine sized, huge books, thick, extra, I think they're 64-ish pages compared to the regular like 30 or 32. So they're six bucks a piece, but you get double the content and it's a lot bigger than a normal regular modern day comic. So I had gotten this and they did a whole signing party with all the creators there. So I got it personalized, which is super cool, but I had missed the drop of the second one. So I picked that up today, which is super awesome. And Eric was around and I was chatting with him a bunch. So he signed it for me, uh, excuse me, personalized it. Super cool, really fun, really exciting. I had so much fun. Y'all, if your uh, comic book store does it for multiple days and you're watching this on Sunday, which I think is the day this is going to come out, uh, head over to your comic, comic book store, see if they have any left over or if they're still doing deals. A lot of them kind of do this big weekend long event like mine does, uh, but make sure to do that. But again, if they don't, first Saturday of every May, free comic book day, follow up. Free Comic Book Day on Facebook or Instagram, Twitter, all of that, whatever you, whatever is going to help you remember, because they're always posting how many days till the big old countdown of, you know, 200 days, 100 days, and then they start counting down, you know, five, four, three, and they share all the stuff on what's coming out. Super cool organization and really fun. So make sure to hit that up, follow them so you don't forget. But that's it. <laughs> I, uh, it was just such a fun day. It was so fun going out with my kids. People dress up. It's, it's awesome. Make sure to head it up. It's a great time to nerd out. Very safe time because everyone's just having a lot of fun and you're just one of a ton of people in there and so you can kind of get lost if you're not used to being in a comic book shop and you're don't not sure you know, what, you know what to read or something. Tons of people there to help if you want or you can just hang out and just kind of disappear into the crowd. crowd. It's a perfect time to hit up an LCS for the first time or you know like a local one that you've never been to for the first time or if you've never been to a comic book shop before. It's a lot of fun. I keep saying that and now I'm rambling. Anyways, that's it. I just wanted to share a little bit about what was going on. Uh, I was going to have my kids uh, come on and share a little bit, but they're in bed and the day got away from us. So here we are. I'm sharing about it. Um, but I think my youngest uh, daughter, she's going to be doing a video with me, hopefully very soon, talking about Sonic the Hedgehog by IDW. She's been really loving it. We got to pick up volume three here because we realized while we were there, we saw it there and we're like, oh crap, that dropped. We got to grab that. So a lot of stuff going on. She'll be on the channel. So hopefully the kids can uh, give you some input on what comics are great for kids because you can hear it from an adult or a parent but it's awesome to hear it from the kids too. All right, that's it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notification, and don't forget to follow Free Comic Book Day on all the channels. But also, what I always say, the most important thing to do, comment. I love talking with you all. What comics did you pick up from Free Comic Book Day? Could, could be all the other comics you picked up, but I'm interested in, you know, does your shop let you get one, two, three, five, ten, unlimited? Uh, but what of the Free Comic Book Day comics did you pick up? And if you want to, why? All right, that's it. Take care. Stay cool.